Hi guys! Today I'm going to talk about Book 2B Chapter 1, which is about the simple present tense. But this time I'm going to focus on the third person singular. Wait, what is the third person singular? You might be asking. But don't worry about that. I'm sure you'll understand after you watch the video. Okay, take a look at this beautiful picture. Exactly, this is me, Miss Chen. So I'm going to tell you something. I sing every day. If you're going to tell someone about this, you'll probably say Miss Chen sings every day. So take a look at the sentence again. Miss Chen sings every day. So the first thing you should notice is that sing is actually the action verb in the sentence. Action verb means the thing someone does, okay? And the second thing you should notice is that Miss Chen is actually a she. So I think you probably get what I want to say. After she, we need to add s after the verb. Like she runs, she swims, and she jumps. So she is actually the subject of the third person. Can you guess what the other two are? Since you guys are so smart, I'm sure you get the answers, which is he and it, okay? So for your easy things, take a look at this table. After he, she, or it, we should add s or es after the third. Then you will probably have another question. When should I add s? And when should I add es? So for most of the verbs, we just add s after them. For example, like walk, we'll change it into walks. For drink, we'll change it into drinks. For clean, we'll change it into cleans. And for draw, we'll change it into draws. But there are some cases we should add es instead of s. So for the first one, if the verb ends with ss, then we should add es. For example, like kiss, we will say kisses. She kisses her teddy bear. So for the second one, if the verb ends with x, then we should add es. For example, like fix, we change it into fixes. The mechanic fixes the machine. And for the third one, if the verb ends with ch, we should also add es after the verb, like watch. We change it into watches. Mary watches TV every day. And for the fourth one, if the verb ends with sh, we also add es after it. Like finish, we change it into finishes. And for push, we change it into pushes. Like Mary finishes her homework every day before dinner. Okay, so for the last one, if the verb ends with o, then we should also add es after it. Okay, you should be very familiar with this because you have already learned that in Book 2A Chapter 5, I think. Okay, so for go, we change it into goes. Tom goes to school by school bus. Okay, this is going to be the last thing I'm going to talk about before I end the video. If the verb ends with Y, then we change it into IES. Like study, we change it into studies. The Y is changed into I and then we'll add ES after it. But there are some exceptional cases. Like play, we don't change it into place with IES. We just add S after the word play. It's like P-L-A-Y-S, okay? This is because of the vowel before the Y, okay? 
so if there is a vowel before the Y, then we don't change it into IES. We will just add S after it. So let me make a very short conclusion of what we have learned in the video. The first thing is that after he, she, or is, we need to add S or ES after the verb. The second is that if the verb ends with SS, X, CH, SH, or O, then we need to add ES after the verbs. The third thing is that if the verb ends with Y, then we need to change the Y into I and add ES after that. But also remember there are some exceptional cases, okay? So that's all for today. See you next time.